Hi guys, it's me Gwenny back with another haul video. So in this haul video, it's gonna be a haul from uh, One Ton in a Million. So it's gonna be like the first uh, dumpling centric haul video for 2022. I did have like a haul from One Ton in a Million in another video for this year, but this is just gonna be like One Ton in a Million. So like I'm calling it dumpling centric haul. Um, but anyways. Before I get into the shop, um, let me do my intro. So, hi guys, it's Gwenny and also known as K Anything Fangirl. And I am a sticker addict, washi tape addict, stationery addict, K pop, Ajama fan, Asian drama fan, bookworm, gamer of sorts, uh, collector, actually more of a hoarder, and welcome to my channel. So like I said, this video is going to be a one ton in a million haul. So no other shops, just one ton in a million. And this is actually, uh, one of them is actually from this year and the other one was from last year. It's actually my Harry Potter or Hagal Potter pre-sale order that I never got to film last year. So I'm going to open it here with you guys and then um the other one is just a small sticker order that's why it's in this envelope and i almost added another thing but i didn't want this video to be too long so i will save that uh haul for another video but anyways um like i said instead of listening to me ramble on uh one ton in a million is a shop owned by cynthia and it's actually in one of my all-time favorite shops you will see them all throughout my haul videos um and it's actually cynthia is one uh the first online shop owner that i've ever met so um i really love her shop i love um the customer service is great and i just love this wonton characters you can kind of like see them here right here so anyways uh instead i've been rambling on for two minutes and i will um see you in the next clip okay so the first thing that i have is my Hagel potter pre-sale order so i believe june uh august 2021 she had like a pre-sale pre-sale order for the I think the last, um, the last installment of the Hago Potter series. So Hago Potter is actually the steam team dressed in characters, uh, inspired by Harry Potter. And I just, I still like, uh, the Harry Potter franchise, even though the author is problematic, which I'm not going to get into. But, um, I believe, hang on one second. Yeah, so this is like the last book in the Hago Potter collection. I have at least until book six of the Hago Potter, um, washi tape. So, um, this was like a pre-sale thing she did for the last book, which is book seven. And I got a bunch of stuff. Because it's a pre-sale order. So she gave me this sort of... Um, what do you call this? This is a journaling card. You are a work of tart. With a done tot right there. Really, really cute. And then this is the freebie that I got. In case you missed them, the chore sticker. I think I already have this one. But I always like extras. Because then I can use that, that one. And... Um, whatchamacallit, save the extras, but anyway, so I got some of the stickers, because like, um, I think for a while, the rest of the sticker sheets were like sold out or something like that, so with this pre-sale, she re-released them, so I went through my collection, and I looked and see which ones I'm missing, and I think I got all of the ones that I'm missing, so this one is the Hagel Potter and the Sorcerer's Bun, which is book one. So you got like steamy and with the glasses and the scar. 
the rest of the team. So this is like different scenes from the first book. And then there's um, the second sheet that I have is Hagel Potter and the Steamer of Secrets. More scenes. There's Aragog and Hagrid. Dobby. Moaning Myrtle. Uh, this one you have like the Sorting Hat, the Quidditch uh, area, there's Snape. Um, this one is Hagel Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So they're serious, Lupin, all kinds of stuff. You probably guys have read the book. If not, hopefully you don't mind spoilers because this is all like spoiler. Probably should have said spoiler alert if you haven't read the books. This one is Hagel Potter and a Steamer of Fire. Cedric Diggory. Really, really cute. And then um, I got Hagel Potter and the Order of the Phoenix Claw. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. <laughs> That's funny. Give her hell from us peeves. Must not tell lies. And then Hago Potter and the Deathly Hagos. Oh my goodness. This one. <laughs> my favorite line from the book. <laughs> and then this one is just characters from Hago Potter. Really, really cute. So there's kind of like Harry, Ron, Hermione, Luna. Uh, I don't know who that is. Don't know what that is. Dumbledore, um, Hagrid, Snape, Mad Eye, um, Gilderoy. Is that McGonagall? Um, Bellatrix. Um, there's he who must not be named. Who is this one? I don't remember who that one is. Then there's Dobby. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of characters. So those are some of the sticker sheets. And then I also got this kind of like a uh, deco sticker sheet. This one is sort of like in that uh, washi tape paper. So this would be good for like if you have like a Hobonichi um, planner. And you don't want to bulk it up with stickers. This would be a good um, sticker sheet to get. If she still has them. I don't know if she still has some of these. And then I got, I believe these are the stickers for each of the houses. Um, if I can open it. Oh my goodness. This is just kind of like me struggling with opening packages. Sorry about that. I was opening it wrong. Sad. Anyways, this one says Word 12... Where dwell the brave at heart. So this one is sort of Gryffindor. You can kind of see the red and um, gold or red and yellow colors. Where those of wit and learning will always find their kind is Ravenclaw. Really, really cute hat. And then this one where they are just wait where they are just and loyal. So this is Hufflepuff. This is my house right here with a badger hat. And then the last one is my hubby's house where cunning folk use any means to achieve their ends. So these are uh, Slytherin stickers. I just thought this is really, really cute. And then I also got the postcards, all of the books postcards. There was like a lot of items in this pre-sale and I could not get all of them. But I knew I had to get the... the what do you call this? Um, the 5x7 journaling card set. So these are the 7 books. So there's Hago Potter and the Sorcerer's Bun. So book 1. And this is the back. And then Hago Potter and the Steamer of Secrets. And then this is the back. Uh, Hago Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. There's a Dementor. 
How to Grow Potter and the Steam Were a Fire, book four. Oh my goodness. Hago Potter and the Order of the Phoenix Claw. Look at the back. Hago Potter and the Half Bow Prince. And then the last one is Hago Potter and the Deathly Hagos. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. I love this one. So like if you had gotten, uh, you could have gotten them in kind of like a sticker book form. But like I said, I didn't have the funds back then. So I didn't get those, but I did get the journaling cards. And then I also got the journaling cards for all four houses. Because like I said, I am a sucker for any kind of Hago Potter, Harry Potter inspired stuff. So this one is Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. And then I have, okay, one last thing before we get to the washi tape, which is the, the majority of my order. So I got these uh, bookmarkers. I believe so I got all the four colors of all the houses so there's green for Slytherin and then you kind of like you open it up and you could it put it on the end of the book so you can kind of like see where the page is so it's sort of like made of Kind of like a leathery type material. Ignore my dry hands. Um, so I got Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And then let's get to the washi tape. So the washi tape, there is a lot of them. And I can't remember the names of them. So pardon me for that. Um, let me see. Uh... Let's see the book seven scenes. Um, I think this is the book seven scene washi tape. So all of the washi tapes sort of like have like a scene and then uh, kind of like a quotes. Um, so this is the Haga Potter um, quotes. So I will have them swatch out at the end of the video. And then um, there is a Harry Potter petal washi. Which is these cute little hearts. I love these, these stickers. And then I have the Order of the Phoenix Claw Portraits. So this is that washi tape and then I have the Hogwarts Express die cut which is this one right here oh my goodness dropping everything so you can't really see them in the packaging but I will swatch them at the end of the video and then um, actually I would probably the clip you're probably gonna see is the washi tape at the at the end of this part, um, just so that it's there's not a long pause in between. I'm not really sure if I'm explaining that right. I'm just gonna swatch the washi tape at the end of this. You're gonna see the washi tape swatch out at the end of this part, and then I'll haul the other part of the video. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to switch them up in this uh, video. Anyways, so we had the Hogwarts Express. There is the Book Stamps Washi. Um, so these are the different covers in a washi stamp form. I am addicted to these washi tape stickers. And then I also have... Oh, I think I got two of those. I got two because, like I said, I'm addicted to them. 
And then the last washi tape collection is the library washi collection and with the colors of the with the houses, the different houses. So let me show you this washi set collection. So you can sort of see. So the top one is Slytherin, Ravenclaw, um, Gryffindor, and then Hufflepuff. So I had to get these um, washi tape because I really love this one. And that is my washi tape pre-sale order. So like I said, the next video that you're going to see is the all of the washi tapes swatch out so that it's sort of contained together. And then... Um, the next, the last order for this whole video. So I will see you in the next clip. Okay, so as promised, these are what the uh, washi tape looks like unrolled for this haul video. So this one is the Hago Potter and the Deathly Hago. So these are different scenes from the book. If you haven't read any of the Harry Potter books, then I'm sorry for all the spoilers. Um, but these are the scenes. If you read it, you'll recognize all of this scene. So I won't talk about it, just in case. But I will read the quotes. So it usually comes with a scene washi tape and then the quotes washi tape. So this one says, The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Um, if we die for them, I'll kill you, Harry. And then perhaps those who are best suited to power are those who have never sought it. And then after all this time, always. Um, the ministry has fallen. Scrimger is dead. They are coming. And then it just repeats. So this one is the first part of this quote right here. So that's all of the quotes for the, for the book. So if you want to see what the first six books are. Let me get it for you. I can find it yeah so the first six books look like this so this is book one Hago Potter and the uh, Sorcerer's Bun so all the the different scenes from the first book um, these are the quotes we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Wonton School of Dumpling Craft and Dim Summary um, please find enclosed list of all necessary recipe books and steaming equipment Term begins September 1. We await your all by no later than July 31st. And then this one is book 2, Hago Potter and the Steamer of Secrets. It's the same scenes from the book. And then the quotes are, of all the trees we could have hit, we had to get the one that hits back. What exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Why spiders? Why couldn't we follow the butterflies? It is our choices, Hago, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. So that's book two. And then book three is Hago Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And these are the different scenes from that. And then uh, Mischief Manage, turn to page 394. Don't let the muggles get you down. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Happiness can be found even in the darkest times if only if one only remembers to turn on the light. And then book four is Hago Potter and the Steamer of Fire. So these are the different scenes. And then the quotes are, We are only as strong as we are united, as weak as we are divided. Differences of habit and language are nothing at all if our aims are identical and our hearts are open and then there's constant vigilance i'm not an owl what's life without a few dragons and then book five is Hagga Potter and the order of the phoenix claw so you can kind of like see the different scenes and then um either must die the hand of the other for neither can live while the other survives and then just because you have the emotional range of a teaspoon doesn't mean we all have. Have a biscuit, Potter. Give her hell from us, Peeves. Don't worry, you're just the same as I am. And then Hago Potter and the Half Bow Prince. 
So that's book six. So these are the different scenes. And then there's no need to call me sir, professor. I'm not worried, Harry. I'm with you. You're protected, in short, by your ability to love. Let us step out into the night and pursue that flighty, temptress adventure. Anything's possible if you've got enough nerve. And then this one is like an extra one. So like book books one to five only have like two washi in each set. Book six has this two. But then they, um, Cynthia also came up with ones up. So if you've watched, uh, or, or if you watch the movies or if you read the book, you know what this, sim what this symbolizes. I won't tell you. You'd have to read the book or watch the movies. But I really love the ones up. And that was the recap of all the Hago Potter washi tape. And then, and then this one is book seven that I've shown you before. And then the next washi that I have is the Petals washi for the Wizard House's House Heart. So Petal washi, if you haven't watched my videos before, um, I've gotten a lot from, uh, from Cynthia. Um, so it's usually, it's like one, uh, individual sticker. It's just put in the form of a washi roll. So this is what they look like. So each of the houses have a heart, um, sticker. So Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. And then this one is the Hago Potter Order of the Phoenix Claw portrait. So these are the different members of the Order of the Phoenix Claw. Really, really cute. And then Hogwarts Express. This is the train that takes you to Hogwarts. So these are the designs before it repeats. So this is the scene. So these are the main characters. The, <laughs> the evil trio. The twins and then um, Lupin. And then um, I think this is like my favorite washi of all the ones from this haul video. So this one is the book stamps washi. So these are... Um, the they're called perforated washi so you can kind of like tear them and they look like stamps so these are the covers of the books um the ones that i showed you in the journaling card so this is book one book two book three book four has two book five book six has two and book seven has two so these are all the covers and then the last set of washi tape is the Wizard House's Library Washi. So again, different colors for the four houses. So there's Hufflepuff, which is kind of like yellow, gold, and black, sort of. This one has gold foil. Uh, Slytherin is uh, green and black with silver foil. Gryffindor is kind of like red and yellow with gold foil. And then Ravenclaw looks like... Um, blue and black and brown and this one i think is rose gold foil don't know if you can kind of like see but yeah it's different from this one this one is gold this one is i think rose gold so that is all the washi that i have for this haul video so the next video clip you're gonna see is actually another order that i have that i'm gonna include in this one I was going to include a third order, but I think that would make this video too long. And I know some of you guys don't really like the long videos. So I'm trying not to have too many long videos. But anyways, I will see you in the next clip. Okay, so the last thing that I have for this haul video is a small order. Um, I think this is just my monthly kits. So if you don't order uh washi tape or anything bulky it usually comes in this cute little envelope so i'll show you the front or the back of the envelope i won't show you the front because my address is there but this is the the envelope for the my order so it's really really cute kind of like got smudged by post office stuff but it says your dim sum is here and then um here's some um, some of the social media for one ton in a million I will link the shop in the description box below so you can go check them out. So let's uh, see what's in here. So 
So this is uh, the journaling card that I got. So when I ordered this one, I believe it was like after the Lunar New Year, um, Lunar New Year box uh, was released. Or no, it was like January. I ordered this in January, and um, they've started opening. I think the new the Lunar New Year boxes. Unfortunately, I didn't get a box this year. So I'm kind of a little sad about that one, but I will see, I think they still have, they might have some Lunar New Year stuff still available in the shop. I have to double check and see, but I really love this cute little character that they have, this tiger right here. I forgot his name, but this is the Lunar New Year journaling card. So let's meet the one ton in a million dim sum team. Then when you open it, you got like all the dim sums, um, even the new ones. And then there's a message from Cynthia. So it says, hello, I'm Cynthia. I'm the founder of One Ton in a Million, home to the, a little family of dim sum. It's so nice to eat you. Just kidding. It's nice to eat this, the steam team. It's nice to meet you. Have you ever had dim sum? Dim sum is Chinese brunch consisting of the delicious bite-sized dumplings, buns, and pastries eaten at the Cantonese restaurant on weekend mornings. Dim sum, dim sum is typically served on small plates and in bamboo steamers, shared with a teeming table of family and friends, and enjoyed with a cup of warm tea. The inspiration for One Ton in a Million came from the dim sum restaurant my dad managed my whole life, and all of the characters of the steam team are food items from dim sum. In Chinese, dim sum sounds like to touch the heart. It is my hope that the steam team touches your heart and that One Ton in a Million can help you fall in love with the richest, richness of Chinese food and culture in a delicious way. Thanks so much for supporting our little company. Welcome to the Wonton family and check out the next page to meet all the members of the Dim Sum Steam Team. So love, Cynthia. So like, I've shown these before, but I'll, I'll kind of like show you a little bit of um, the characters. So these are the different characters of the Steam Team. So originally the Steam Team only goes up to Charlie, I think. And then, um, I think a few years ago, she had, like, Dumpling Day or something like that. And she came up with all the other members of the steam team, so they're steamy. Um, which is a shrimp dumpling. So we show my is a pork dumpling. Wonton is a wonton dumpling. Soupy Xiao Long Bao is soup dumpling. Don Tot is an egg tart. Lila Bao is egg custard bun. Bolo Bob is pineapple bun. Charlie Bao is baked roast pork bun. Jimmy Bao is steamed roast pork bun. Snow Pea is snow pea leaves dumpling. Beefy Ball is beef ball. Fishy Ball is fish ball. Chewy Chow is chow dumpling. Sesame Ball is sesame ball. Melon Ball is bitter melon sesame ball. Taro is fried taro dumpling. Crabby Claw is fried crab claw. Eggy Plant is stuffed eggplant. Pai Gut is steamed spare ribs, tripe is beef tripe, berry is chicken feet, bamboo is bean curd rolls, spongy is sponge cake roll, lotus is lotus leaf sticky rice, durian is durian puff, roast pork wedgie is baked roast pork wedge, pot sticky is pot sticker, mimi rice is sticky rice, shrimpy noodle is shrimp rice no noodle roll, Beefy noodle is beef rice noodle roll. Turnip and go-go is turnip cakes. Ricky egg roll is egg roll. Ali tofu is almond tofu pudding. Cocoa tapioca is coconut tapioca pudding. Cocoa jelly is coconut jelly pudding. And mango is mango pudding. So this makes me want to eat dim sum right now. But unfortunately, the closest dim sum shop is a waste. I think it's like a 30-45 minute drive or something like that and it goes through toll gates so it's not fun but anyways this is the again another one of the social media for one ton in a million so that is my journaling card and then i got this freebie so it says ordered your advent yet come celebrate the year of the tiger with us like i said the advent the advent 
calendar is already sold out but i believe she might have some items still in the shop but i got these ones Ooh, i think these are freebies oh this is cool because i wanted these so there's the tiger and then there's uh soupy wonton that's steamy in a tiger costume uh steamy wait this is steamy is that lila i'm not sure and this is suey oh i love this oh this is pretty i might just save it <laughs> i don't know if i want to use it now but anyways so this is my order i just ordered two monthly kits so um if you haven't watched my videos before um my i got um a5 wide one ton in a million planner and i was gonna use like a different monthly kit but then um she came out with this so i decided to use it but i did get this one so this one is the white rabbit uh monthly kit it says white dumpling candy but if you grew up in asia or if you grow up in the Philippines like me, um, I used to eat, we used to eat this candy that's kind of like has, um, rice paper, uh, wrapping inside so that you can eat the paper, which is one of the cool things that we thought when I was growing up. So that's called the white rabbit candy. So she made like a monthly kit that's based off of that candy. So these are, um, the, what do you call this? The thick boxes that you put on top of the monthly kit. And then these are some icons. So there's like Steamy with, I think, bill paying, um, payday, stickers, and birthdays. And then there's um, these ones. So these are boxes, individual boxes. And then there's some, um, what you will call it, quarter boxes. And then these are the numbers so you can cover it up. So the, what do you call this? The planner is actually a Sunday start. Let me show you my planner. So the planner that I'm using, oh, this is the July, December. Let me get the January. So this is the January uh, to June. So it comes with a monthly. So this one is a Sunday start. So if you want to turn this into a Monday start, you can do that by just covering this part up. And then these numbers would help kind of like redoing um so you can cover up these dates. The problem with that is sort of like it just since these ones already have the the holidays and stuff like that, you'd have to erase all the holidays and then write it down again so it kind of like makes it a little bit messy. So I might just keep this year's um planner as a Sunday start. Um that way I don't have to erase all of that stuff. But this one I actually bought for my 2021 <laughs> planner. Because the 2021, I'm still working on it. Um, it is... These, these planners, I sort of like... I tried to sort of do it... Um, I tried to sort of uh, plan whatchamacallit I tried to do I tried to do it like um that it's on on time or something like that but then I was missing some kits so then I ended up not doing it that way but so this is gonna be another one of those that's gonna turn into a memory planner like I did with my last one but anyways, I got this one because I am missing a monthly kit for my 2021 uh, 
the 2021 planner. So I'm using this for that one. So these are the top for the top pages, the icons, like I said, the boxes, and then the numbers, and then these ones are the month, the the year. So like these kits, she made it so that you can sort of like use it um whenever you want. So there's like a 2021, 2022, 2023, whenever you want to use it. So like this one I'm going to use for my 2021 planner. And then this one is going to be um, for my 2022 planner. So this one is what kind of like clinch on why I'm buying, why I got... Um, why I got another one ton in a million planner. I was like, if you watch my other video about when I was talking about, um, which planner I was planning on getting, um, I was still torn between this one or the Hobonichi cousin, but I ended up getting this one because of this monthly kit. Cause I wanted this pink one. So anyways, so this is the monthly kit that I'm going to use for January. So I thought this was really, really cute. Especially the penguin one because if you watch my videos, you know I love penguins. So this is the top part. And these are the numbers. And then these are the boxes. So she kind of like changed it a little bit different. So they don't have the icons anymore like in the bottom. But I don't care. I don't mind that and they do have like more than one payday so that's good because I get paid sometimes I get paid three times a month so this would uh, take care of that so that is really really cool and then this one is the what do you call this the ones that you put over here so like I said, you can start it, you can make your planner start on a Monday or a Tuesday, or you can do it Monday start or Sunday start, whatever you want. And you can use this whenever, whatever um, month that you want to use it or whatever year. So you can use it for 2022, 2023, or 2024. So that's really, really cool. And I think you can buy these a la carte if you want I just bought like the whole set because it was cheaper to buy like one whole thing instead of just buying like one page or two pages. So I just bought like the whole set. So I'm probably going to save these and then use it for, I don't know, another year maybe. So that is it for this haul video. I might have made it a little bit longer. I think I rambled on too much when I was opening this one. But anyways... That is it for this whole video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of videos, then consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any comments, suggestions, what do you want to see next or whatever, what you like from this whole video, then leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.